Hello everyone, RV or Frank here with Kathy and Coco, and we are going off the beaten path west of Big Pine, California to explore the Glacier Lodge area up here by the Palisades Glacier. Having explored the Glacier Lodge and campground in part one, this video is part two of this journey as we pick up discovering more about the Palisades Basin. So come along, join us and enjoy the ride and get a little feel of the past here. The California Department of Fish and Game stocks Big Pine Creek from Sage Flat Campground to Glacier Lodge and the Glacier Lodge Pond with rainbow trout every other week. There are two trails starting here. The five mile path along the south fork of Big Pine Creek reaches two lakes while climbing 2300 feet along an open U-shaped valley. But more interesting is the longer route along the North Fork, since this path is more varied scenery and has better views. No fee is charged for parking and no permit is required for the hike, unless staying overnight in the wilderness. Okay, here we go, Coco. The end of the road, kid. This is where we let you out. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Oh. We're gonna go see. Let's go see. Oh yeah. It's a boss. It's snowing. Hey Coco. Try to get a picture of you. Okay, don't fall in there. It's cold here. She's cold too. Okay. doesn't look like much, does it? No. Hope we make it across it. That looks neat. Closer to Glacier Lodge, you can enjoy fly fishing along Big Pine Creek, relaxing in the shade of the pine forest, or take a day hike to First Falls. At the road's end, past a gate, are a few private residences before the road ends. The creek flows north and south from the backcountry. The Big Pine Creek North Fork Trail takes you into the high eastern Sierra Nevada to the crest of the Great Western Divide. This is a hike up to 19 miles which accesses the Big Pine Lakes and the Palisades Glacier. Ahead beyond Glacier Lodge, there are over a dozen glacial lakes, numerous cascades, crags, cliffs, and granite outcrops, plus several glaciers. Big Pine Canyon is heralded for having both the largest and southernmost glaciers in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Palisade Glacier, the largest, sits above Big Pine Lake. These impressive glacial lakes at around 10,000 feet elevation are the source of the North Fork of Big Pine Creek. The South Fork is bordered by the Palisade Crest with peaks over 14,000 feet, and Middle Palisade Glacier the southernmost glacier. 
There is also the epic Temple Crag along this trail, which houses some of the tallest rock climbs in the entire Sierra Nevada range. The North Fork Trail follows the Big Pine Creek, weaving among Lodge Pole Pine, Aspen, and Jeffrey Pine, with some switchbacks, passing the cabin built by movie actor Lon Chaney. Chaney commissioned Paul Revere Williams to design this cabin. Williams was an American architect based in Los Angeles, California. He practiced largely in Southern California and designed the homes of numerous celebrities, including Frank Sinatra, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, Barbara Stanwyck, and Charles Carell. Temple Crag looms over the trail that takes hikers to lakes one through seven and can be seen before one even reaches the first lake. The year 1931 was an important year in the history of mountaineering in Sierra Nevada, and Norman Clyde was in the midst of it. Appalachian Mountain Club member Robert L. M. Underhill came to the Sierra Nevada to teach the latest techniques of rope climbing he learned in the Alps. After instructing young climbers in the technique, Clyde led the group south to the Palisades, the most rugged and alpine part of the Sierra Nevada. It was August 9, 1931. A party of nine led by Norman Claude camped for several days at one of the little lakes near the head of the North Fork of Big Pine Creek. Food and dunnage bags were packed in from Glacier Lodge, a half day's trip. Three first class climbs were made.
said back then 
These climbs demonstrated the facility with which even the most formidable mountains of the Sierra can be overcome through the use of proper rope technique accompanied by sound leadership. It was also demonstrated that an ice axe is an important implement in making climbs in this region. There, in August 1931, the party began the first ascent of the last unclimbed 14,000 plus foot peak in California, which remained at the time unnamed due to its remote location above the Palisades glaciers. As mentioned in this vintage video clip, after the challenging ascent to the summit, the climbers were caught in an intense lightning storm, and one barely escaped electrocution as he said, a thunderbolt whizzed right by my ear. Fittingly, in 1931, the last unclimbed 14,000 foot mountain in Sierra was named Thunderbolt Peak, so named after the electrical storm that engulfed his summit party. Well, this was fun, but it's time to say goodbye as we head on to our next Off the Beaten Path journey. Thanks for watching, see you soon, and have safe travels.